what's up guys it's Sid welcome back to my channel well first I'm on this side note y'all gonna hear a beeping in the back frequently right so don't judge me I seen something on Twitter that said like all black people got that beep in the back because because they don't change their little fire little fire thing and I'm not gonna lie we haven't changed it so you know we just have to deal with that for this video next video hopefully we gone but so basically today I'm starting a new series called Reconstructed where I'm going to be showing you guys like small tutorials on how to make certain items. I'm not going to lie, pretty much all of the tutorials are going to have to use a sewing machine. Um, and for you, was it just blurry? Maybe not. So for you guys that don't know, I do have a brand called Artifacts where basically I make one of one cut and sew pieces. I'll put the link down in the description box in case some of y'all want to check out the items. So today I decided to start off the series with this style of pant right here. This is the one that we're going to be making today, but then I'll insert some more pictures of the ones that I've made in the past. I guess you can call it like a split pant. It's basically just going from two pants into one. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope y'all enjoyed this series. So if y'all want to know how to make these pants, then just keep watching the video. All right, so we're going to start with two pairs of sweatpants. I got a vintage pair of Russell pants and a pair of Nike sweatpants. So I want the green pants to be on the outside. Um doesn't really matter which pant you start with but basically you're just gonna slice the leg down the middle um, I don't know what this little tool is called but it basically just makes it easier to cut the leg in half one thing pull the pocket out I don't know if you saw me but pull the pockets out so that when you're cutting it you don't cut into the pocket so then later on you can still utilize the side pockets of the pants So boom, as you can see, I got one of the sides done. So it should just look like that. We can just put that over to the side for now and then we can do the other leg. So just do the same exact thing. Um, as you can see, I'm pulling out the pocket again so I don't cut into it. Um, and yeah, I'll just speed through this because you basically just do the same thing you did on the other side. So then boom, you got the right side and you got the left side. So now we just have to do the same thing to the other set of pants. Again, pull the pocket out so you don't cut that part. And then boom, you got the middle part, you got the two sides, and now, now it's time to, to sew them together. So you want to grab one side and the middle piece, so basically lay it as if that's the pant, like it's already attached. So you're going to, I went ahead and pulled out the drawstrings because I'm going to add new ones later. So basically you're going to have the front two pieces, so let go of the backs, so you just hold up the front two pieces and then put them together but you have to put them together so that the outside so that basically they're inside out so you see both of the pieces are the insides of the pieces so all you got to do at this point is sew down the entire side so boom once you finish sewing that you can see that the first part of the pant is done so now what you want to do is you want to grab the other side, which is like the back piece of the green side, and pull up the back piece of the black pants, so where the butt is going to be. So you're going to take both of those sides, as you can see, you can take both of those sides and do the same exact thing. Flip them around so that the pant is basically inside out. And I, I went ahead and pulled the leg through so that it's the whole piece is totally inside out, which will make it easier when you're sewing down the side. 
So then boom, you just do the same thing. You sew down the side just as you did before. And it doesn't matter if you have loose ends on the side like that because when you get done, all you have to do is use your slicer or scissors and just cut all the excess material off. So now that we did that, you can see the whole pant is inside out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it right side in so that you can see what it looks like now. So now as you can see, we have like a full functioning side of the pant. See, like there's one half of the pant and now all we have to do is add the other green side. So we do the same thing. We have the front of the black, the front of the green. Put them, put them together again so that it's inside out so you can see the insides of both pieces. And we're just gonna sew down the side just as we did before. pretty much see that the pant is almost done the only thing we have to do is connect the back pieces hold them up so you can kind of see where it's supposed to be sewn so boom you got the left you got the right you're just gonna flip them inside out again and what you have to do though is you're gonna have to pull the leg through because like I said, remember, you always got to sew on the inside of the pant. So I'm just pulling both sides through so that the pant is just totally inside out. So it makes it easier for me to sew the last side. So once you're done with that, you can see that the pant is completely attached on every single side. This is the pant as it is inside out. So then boom, you got a new set of pants. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and added a drawstring. Um, you can add one or, or you cannot. It's really easy. I didn't show how to do it, but I can show you guys in a different video if you'd like. But yeah. This is the finished product. Um, they came out pretty dope. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more reconstructed videos like this. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.